Okay, we're ready to go. Oh, well, hello there, friend and family. So good to see you again. As you can see, we're in the, well, almost so we're in the focus, but you know, we're in Alice. And uh, it's been a very stormy night in early morning, and it's gonna be stormy all throughout the day. But hey, we don't let that hinder us much. We gotta make a short run, and yep, it's one of your favorites. We're going to Superfoods. And if you're good, and you sit down in the buggy and behave, don't be jumping in and out, throwing things in the buggy, or being loud and shouting about, then hey, I'll take you along. But if anybody acts up, you gotta go back out and sit in the car. So jump on in, buckle up, and let's head her on up to our favorite locally owned and operated Superfoods today on the 25th of January, 2024. What do you say? Well, here we are again at Superfoods. You know, we're always glad you came and I always know your name. And we're not gonna be looking at the whole entire store. I just gotta get a few things and that's what you're gonna see. And what you can see as we go through the store. Yeah, I know, you want the full tour? Well, let me know and I'll try to schedule it in. But we just need a few things today. We need some fine, sure fine bread, right here. Yep. Let's see. That's a dollar seventy a loaf. For those of you who wanted to know, we need some fine hamburger buns because they're on the menu for the weekend and next week. That'll be a dollar sixty-three. And we also need some hot dog buns because you guessed it. They're on the menu too, for the same price, $1.63. No bagels. The price has just got too high. That's become a special thing. You know, one of them wants. But I do need to pick up a little extra muscle. Now we do got a few choices here. We got the French's Classic Yellow, 14 ounce for $1.94. We got the That Smart for 97 cents for 14 ounces. Or we got the food club for $1.28 for 20 ounces. But the bottles say 14. Everything's being squeezed on down. Let's go over here and look at Heinz. Because Heinz makes some very fine mustard. I must admit. But I've been enjoying the food club, yellow mustard. And I got some yellow mustard. It's the German kind. But when it's gone, because it was special, we're gonna get back to the American kind. So this is what we're getting. You didn't need no bananas. Y'all are just jumping all around. Well, we don't need any lettuce. We still got a head and a half, but it's $1.55 if you were wondering. We don't buy the bag. You can get your three romaine hearts from Vanguard for $3 a bag. Cucumbers will run you 76 cents. They're looking mighty fine. And the Vanguard celery, which is also looking real good. You know, that's out from all the way out in California. Salinas, that is. For dollar fifty-eight. Of course, we all know bell peppers are high, and I mean traditionally they are this time of year. It's a summertime vegetable, you know. So I'm sure they're having to be shipped in. And of course, they got the apples of all kinds. You can see them right here. You can just stop the video and take a look. And there's the spuds. I'm noticing the prices and they haven't changed from the last time I was here. It's still $2.97 for that five pound bag of butter reds. Three pounds for a five pound bag of Idaho whites. 
there's another bag of red potatoes for three thirty-five, and they got the bigger bags but I don't get into all of that I guess can't use them all up before they start to sprout Woo. those halo mandarins sure do look good pricey Cantaloupe's 313. I don't guess that's too bad for the winter time. Or you can get you some of this fine cauliflower. 295 each. I'm not too big on cauliflower. Woo! Zucchini's high this time of year. 259. But here again, summertime stuff. You know, they used to teach us, or you know, our parents and grandparents did buy what was in season of course now we've gotten so spoiled we expect to come in the store and find anything we want any time of year and we still expect lower prices no it's really never been that way of course now granted inflation's kicked in and really beating us up well there's some snap beans product of the usa 319 a pound. Whew, they look really good though. Almost makes you want to get some. Steam them. <laughs> oh, a little garlic butter, salt and pepper. Now that would be really nice. Cabbages are 66 cents. Carrots, still 111 for the one pound bag. Yeah, but I don't need any of that. I do need some onions. Let's see what they got. Yep. The two pound bag of whites is two forty seven. And I've been enjoying the whites. But let's see what the yellows are. Well, the yellows, I can get three pounds for two forty one. And it's been a while since I've had the yellows. So what do you say? They used to be my favorites. You got to check them out these days. Because onions, like there was one in there that wasn't too great. Now I got one hand that smells like onions. Yeah. Now I have a hand that smells like a bad onion. Well, that'll keep people away, won't it? Now sandwiches, I've been doing them for lunch. And you can save some money even though lunch meat's rather high. But, I'm gonna go ahead and pick me up a pound of this uh, yeah, it looks like oven roasted turkey breast. It's pretty darn good. Yep, it is. I'm checking the old Best Buy dates. This one looks just fine. Yeah, it's 5.30. But there's a pile in the 16 ounces. And I only use two pieces for a sandwich. I look now, these days in high cost of inflation, the price of a meal rather than the price of everything otherwise I wouldn't be eating much and enjoying not so much either so I'm going with this yeah I know you like looking at bacon prices let's take a look at some I think they're about the same yeah Guatley 328 for 12 ounces you know that's for the thick cut. Hey, 272 for Guatling hardwood smoked sliced bacon. You know, the regular cut. Bar S is 372. Brian's 372. Smithfield. These are all 12 ounces. It's 315 for 12 ounces. Carolina Pride, 430 for 12 ounces. There you go. And then of course they still got 
one of my favorites now, Aberdeen. You know, the irregular slices, which I've found not to be too irregular, for 252 for 12 ounces. There you have it. That's ours right there. Maybe you'll let me know what they are in your hometown. Yeah, there's some even, there's a pound right there for 203, the Jamestown brand. It's irregular slices, value bacon too. No, that's cheap. We should try some, don't you think? We're also gonna get us some Jimmy Dean fully cooked sa sausage patties. 437. That's a want. Sort of spice up our, you know, our breakfasts. Every once in a while. Here again, it'll be special. It won't be every day. We don't need much down through these center outs. Remember, we're eating in the pantry. But just so you can see it, there's still plenty of pasta here at Superfoods. So if you need pasta, you know where to come. But hey, don't be a hog. Leave some for the rest of us. Also some band cans, pork and beans, my preferred brand, 98 cents a can. And I'm getting the big cans, the beanie weenies. 14.75 ounces for $1.92. I love beanie weenies, but I'm going to try and experiment. I'm going to try to copy them exactly, because up to now, I've always failed, but I have a plan. Y'all keep jumping around today. Watch out for the bump. I'm just going to have to carry you along. I see y'all just aren't going to behave. We don't need any coffee, but I know my prices. Yep, my Wright's Mill, the only one I care about. It's 339, holding strong. Little canisters, Folgers, yeah, they're holding. 468. I don't see no price increases here. If you do, based on our last video, you can let me know in the comments below this video. I'm not seeing it. Pretty much stabilized. Now they just need to start coming down. Don't need no oats. No Pop-Tarts. Nope. We we're going to pass these cookies by so y'all keep your hands in the buggy. Now come on now. Nope. No goldfish this trip either. Don't need soups. I told you. Wasn't going to be much. We are going to look at some meats though. Because I know y'all enjoy that. So let's go over there and check out them meats. Okay, I see some manager specials. Maybe we're in luck. It would appear we're in luck. Of course, their sell by date is today. Yep. But they've been nearly cut in half. But I can't use that much and I'd have to freeze it. And I don't want to do that. But oh my, look at here. We got some chuck steak here, reduced for quick sale. Yep. That'd be mighty fine. At four ten a pound. You can tell it's soup season. Cause here they got sliced up smoked ham hocks for $2.09 a pound. Oh yeah. This is the bomb. Our cured pork tenderloin up there, you know, cute pork, $3.99 a pound. Country style ribs. 210 a pound, that's the same. Pork rib end chops, $1.90 pound. Pork loin first cut chops, $1.75. 
215 for the quarter pork loin thin slice. There's your pork loin quarter slice for two dollars a pound. Then you get the value pack down here. Pork loin half slice, 180 a pound. And of course, the pork steak family pack's going to run you a dollar ninety nine a pound. Boneless tenderloin, three fifty nine. Really good stuff, but it's pricey pork. It's not for us little old poor folk. We're down here in the bottom shelf. Woo! Look at those Boston butts at a dollar seventy a pound. That's economical. Used to be a lot more economical. Or you can get a pork loin roast, loin end, for one sixty-five. Now we're down in the beef. We don't need no pre-made patties unless they're on manager special. Let's see what our ground beef is at today. For the 75% lean, 25% fat, $2.57 a pound. Ground round, $4.50. Ground chuck, 377. I don't look at the tube meat. Prices on Johnsonville all stayed the same, 529. For whatever you want. And something I've really been a hankering for. But I hate to pay the price. And that's these beef cube steak because I want to make some Swiss steak. Yes, I do. But I got another idea of how to make it that I'm going to try this time. Now, I can't cube my own beef, but I can whack it into submission, and that's what I'm going to try. The sirloin $6.99 pound. Ribeyes holding at 1642 there, but over here, 1496. Your T bones, 983. Your New York strip, 999. Sirloin tip roast, 499. And your beef rough roast, 499. I think chicken staying the same, 203 pound for the prior breast split. Of course, if you want them prior breast boneless, they're 332. Prior thighs boneless, 275 a pound. Drumettes, crazy price, 464 pound. Of course. Whole wings, three thirty-five a pound. But my favorite, fire drumsticks and thighs are holding at a dollar forty a pound a piece. And then we got the big bags, ten-pound bags of chicken quarter, you know, leg and thighs for five thirty-five. So that's fifty-three point five cents a pound. That's the way to go. Learn how to cut them apart. And you'll save a whole pile of money from even these low prices here. So that says some meat prices. We didn't buy any. We got plenty. We don't need it. So let's head on down and check the flour too. No, that's quite okay, ma'am. So here we are at the flour. I've heard, you know, there's going to be a flour shortage. And even though we're not seeing it now, so it's coming. Well, so far, we got plenty. And of course, we live in the south. 
there was a time when flour was pretty scarce. So what did we depend upon? Cornmeal. That's why cornbread became more prevalent in the South than wheat bread. So, hey, we'll drop back and we'll be just fine with our cornbread. Like I told you, we weren't getting much today. But I thought, you know, I'd show you a few prices, take you along, get you out of the house. What do you say? You know, we always got to pick up something for the kiddies or they'll feel left out. So let's go see what we can get them. Let's try something different this time. So the kitty crew get some nine lives pate. Yeah, seafood platter. They'll love that. Yeah, they'll also get some pate here. It's meaty pate with real chicken. And of course another fave. Meaty pate. Super supper. Yeah, they love that. And those were two forty-seven a piece. You know, that's a little over what sixty-two cents a can. Not bad. They'll just be happy. Gracie, her tail will be wiggling, and she'll be dancing around the kitchen floor. It would appear there's plenty of doggy food here too. See. Gotta have our milk, 266 a half gallon. Yeah, I know, y'all say, buy the whole gallon, freeze it, do all that. Yeah, you know, I don't do it. I just don't drink much milk. Overall, that saves me money, doesn't it? Orange juice prices, they're just sky high. $4 for a little jug, 510. Let's check eggs. Are they coming back down again? Well, they're slowly creeping down. Mediums, 211 a dozen. Large, 234. Brown eggs, 283. I keep telling people they don't make no difference. It's just the colors of the shells. One half dozen, 351. Or like a lot of people are having to do, just buy six for a dollar forty-four. Sad times we live in, I might say. Now nope, before go to canned biscuits, I've got to sit down and make some biscuits. You know you can make them and freeze them too. Think I'm okay in all of this. There's your butter prices. The Food Club brand, $4.46 for salted. Unsalted, $4.37. Land of Lakes. Yep, it's $6.67. Either way you go. Now this is just something I don't understand. These are the half sticks. Why? You can't cut your sticks in half, but you'll pay a little more have somebody cut them for you. Is that what we've come to, folks? Six seventy-eight. Just because the sticks are cut in half. Oh, my God. But we do need some cheese because I'm going to have some sandwiches and I'm going to make some tacos. Yes, I am. So let's see. Let's take a look at some cheese. Right there. I like this. 209 for eight ounces of Mexican blend cheese. Blend of Monterey Jack cheddar. Queso queso dealer. A cerdero cheeses. And I probably didn't say none of that right, so I apologize now. Let's see. But I think we're getting low on mozzarella too. You know, the mozzarella. 
Let me grab some of that. Hey, y'all are getting heavy. I gotta put you back in the buggy. I told you quit getting out of the buggy. Some pepper jack, 16 slices, 301. As much as I hate it, I'm running low on my chive and onion Philadelphia cream cheese. 446. Woo. That's a want. That's not a need anymore. No, no pizzas today. We did enjoy that one from uh, Red Baron. It was mighty fine once I jazzed it up. But I am going to buy me some Fast Bites cheeseburgers for $1.36 a piece. They're just fine for a quick lunch. And another want that I'm getting today, because I ate the last ones for some more of these pagoda pork egg rolls. I'm telling you what, if you haven't tried these, you should. If you'd like me to show you how to cook them, they're so easy. They come out crispy. Woo! Mix you up a little soy sauce with oyster sauce. Salt. Well, you don't need to put salt, but I like to put a little pepper. Dip them in it. Ooh! They're mighty fine for that late night snack. And I'm getting the banquet mega meals. You know, just throw back in the freezer instead of that big pizza. 313 for 16.95 ounces. Hey, we're gonna give it a try. If you'd like me to do a review video, I'll surely do it for you. Well, that's about all I need. Needed, and you can see, I really just needed the bread, the mustard, the onions, some sandwich meat. And then I get in here and I start putting in those wants and some milk. Yep. Now we need to go pay before we spend any more. But at least I showed you a few prices. Meats, eggs, bacon, and what have you. And you could look around the store. You didn't have to stay out and play in the weather today. I ran out of my snack size sausage and biscuits. So this time, we're going to try some Dean's sausage and buttermilk biscuits. You know, see, 503 for 12. We'll give it a try. They're a little bit larger. They're not snack size. And I've been craving some more Swaggerty's Link sausage right here. 297 So there you go. We're really trying to concentrate on eating more breakfast. So, to the checkout, we go. Well, we got everything put up. Now it's time to sit down and rest. Oh, there you are again, friend and family. So glad y'all could come along for that little quick trip to Superfoods Day. It was just about picking up some necessities for the coming weekend and week. And putting back some things in the freezer you know when for when I, I just don't feel like cooking you know I have my days too and I don't go into all that uh, I sort of leave that right and if we don't have something quick and simple then we tend not to eat and that's never a good thing but hey I hope you enjoyed our little trip and as always y'all behaved in the buggy so, you can come along the next time. So, until I, Gracie, Kitty Crew, you know them all. Yep. See you on that next episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood. Y'all take care. Stay safe out there. Stay warm. And may God bless you all as you bless those in your lives. Goodbye for now. I'm tuckered out now. Time to get something cold to drink. And sit down and rest a while. Think about what we'll have for supper tonight. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Oh, later all.